Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Build It Yourself Business. I am your host and today I want to talk about a band called the Tramp Stamps and the flaws of not understanding your audience. So the Tramp Stamps are essentially a alt girl band that sing about, you know, women empowerment in a internet Tumblr-esque style of fashion. So what you need to know, that's all really you need to know, um, but they're a perfect lesson in knowing your audience and knowing your audience on a degree that should you even choose that as your audience well let's analyze their audience in question so the type of people that would be interested in this band are demographically outcasts people who were out treated as outcasts either um in in school or in college but in and found you know, value in online communities like Discord, Reddit, Tumblr. Um, usually uh, uh, enjoy that type of rock and roll aesthetic. Um, while there is certainly the problem of th of that alt rock scene sort of being ex exclusive and, and excluding people of color, it's primarily white women and, 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 and white men that partake in that type of scene. So usually of anywhere between lower middle class to upper middle class because it does take some type of money to afford the makeup and the clothing choice and the hairstyles and all that stuff. It actually revolves a little bit of cash too. Now, I'm not saying that these are the only people that partake and it's only possible to partake if you look a certain way and have a certain amount of money, but it's generally easier to be that Therefore, the vast majority of people in that scene have that. This group of individuals also has an anti-authoritarian streak. They like authenticity. They, they like originality. They like independence. You know, the big music industry is not necessarily popular, hence why a lot of these alt-rock and punk bands have a history of starting small and getting picked up by industry. People in this community are able to sniff out inauthenticity a mile away. You can't just, you know, walk up and say, ah, eh, we're just going to make an old punk band. They're younger and they're probably just going to consume it because they're young. That is a very ill-fated and quite frankly old-fashioned viewpoint that is not necessarily true of today's youth. You cannot give something that is even remotely inauthentic to this group of humans and expect to make lots of money and grow a fan base like you're a industry plant country star. These are critiques of a group of people that don't fundamentally understand the, the, the audience that they're trying to cater to. But what does this mean for you, the viewer? Well, quite simply, running a business is a two-way street with you and your customer if you're the product and you in and, and the band that you're a part of, that's the product, you have to make sure that that product is respectful to the audience it's trying to cater to. And some audiences are easier to cater to than others. Country fans are notoriously easy to cater to. This group of women unfortunately picked an audience that is only accepting of authenticity and tried to develop something inauthentic and sell it to them and it failed miserably. They're probably going to still have some fans and they'll probably be able to hash out a, a, a meager existence, but for a group of women that have been in the industry already and have already you know, made inroads in other capacities, why would they want to make struggling artist money when they can just scrap this idea and move on to something else and make real money? Let this be a lesson to anybody trying to cater to a particular market, a particular audience. Make sure that you understand the audience you're trying to cater to before you cater to it. Hoggers!